John. I love the show and think this would make a great Brainiac experiment. Cows are supposed to produce more milk when they listen to music. So does that mean that cows that live around summer festival sites make more milk during the concerts? Any chance you could create a glassmary type festival to see what happens? Thanks a lot from your biggest fan, Nathan in Birmingham. Nathan, this one's going to be interesting. Yes, for this experiment, we've created our very own festival. We've put 400 lucky cows on the guest list and they've been divided into four separate fields so they can listen to four very different types of music. At the end of the day, each group of cows will head off to the milking shed and we'll be able to see which type of music has the best effect. May I present the Brainiac Bovine Musical Festival? First up, it's some banging house music. Research claims that music with less than 100 beats per minute is more productive than faster music. This tune is being played at 144 beats per minute, so in theory, this group of cows shouldn't produce a higher milk yield. In field number two, the vibe is a little more refined. In one day, a cow can eat on average 12 kilograms of grass and produce as much as 44 litres of milk. According to research, the classical soothing music of our string quartet stands a good chance of increasing these cows' output. Next up, cool jazz in the bottom field. Well, sounds more like ghastly folk music to me, but I'm no expert, and anyway, our cows seem magnetically drawn to it. And they also seem drawn to each other. It's definitely affecting their mood, but will it mean more milk? For our last group of cows, it's something a bit heavier. Take it away, ladies! It's the kicking sound of punk. A cow has four stomachs. Each extracts a different part of the food they eat. I wonder which one they will use to stomach this. None of them, obviously. So, as the musical festival finishes, our cows are about to learn that you don't get anything for free as we come to the business end of our experiment. It's off to the milking shed to get our results. Nice. Come on, baby, let's have some milk. Nice. Right, so you think the cows have enjoyed their musical day? I should think so, except the punk. <laughs> you reckon you saw some adverse reaction there? Yes, I think we could see some adverse reaction there. Right. All right, Phil, let's have a look at our results then. First up, we had the punk rock band. How have they done? They're down by about 4%. So, no surprise, punk not doing it for the cows, producing 4% less milk. That's four pints. And neither did the dance, the cows making two pints less after the music. The jazz cows, on the other hand, yielded three pints more. But it was classical that was the big winner of the day. They were up four. So to answer Nathan's question, yes, depending on the type of music, cows do produce more milk. And if that's the case, then why not try playing some loud music to your milkman and see if he'll deliver an extra pint? 